Fred Hamprecht, Robert Bosch Endowed Professor for Image Analysis and Learning, Interdisciplinary Center for Scientific Computing and Department of Physics of Universität Heidelberg. Good evening. Interactive Welcome. machine learning for computer vision. Done? Thank you. <laughs> All right. I want to talk about interactive machine learning and about the scientific problem I most love, which is this. Um, we try to go from very high resolution volume electron microscopic images of the brain, as you see here, um, to hopefully the complete wiring diagram. Um, Actually, we're working on this step, so to go from pixels to not just this neuroid, but all neuroids in the volume, and not just on this tiny kind of volume that you see here, which is a few million pixels, uh, but we try to do that on trillions of pixels. Um, so the image acquisition is uh, progressing fantastically. So the first fly brain ever was uh, acquired just before Christmas, uh, but the manual tracing you know, takes forever, and this is an invitation for you know, all of us here. Okay. Um, the community is progressing well. Uh, there, is, uh, there are a couple of challenges. This one is the most competitive. We here see the top 20 contenders. Uh, we see some accuracy going from 0.95 to 1 over there. Humans are pretty close. Um, this is how the winner of the challenge did in 2012. Um, this is where we are in 2016. And my group is currently leading this pack. Um, I'll show you the pipeline that accomplishes this, but before I do that, I want to talk about the interactive side of machine learning. So we're given data like this, and by the time I retire, I want to be able to just talk to my computer and maybe point with a finger and say, you know, this is a membrane, this is a mitochondrion, this is a vesicle. Um, for now, we have to use mouse input. It looks like this. So you define, um, you define uh, classes. You give a, a little bit of input. This is even you know, too small to see on the scale of, of the beamer here, and that produces the first prediction. And then you stare at it, you are unhappy with it, you give an additional annotation um, that improves things there, but messes things up elsewhere, so you give an additional annotation where things became worse, and you play ping pong you know, until you're happy. And Actually, you know, this kind of result was obtained with just five or six annotations, and then you can introduce more classes and uh, you know, get a richer semantic segmentation. So you get the idea. Um, all of this is just the first step of this pipeline, where we go from the raw pixels to a boundary probability map. Um, then we aggregate those pixels, of which we are sure that they belong to the same neurite. So we obtain so-called super pixels, um, which allow us to extract more expressive features, and they're also a way of coarse-graining the problem. Um, then we set up a graph and solve a hard graph partitioning problem. Now, this graph in itself, um, we introduce attractive or repulsive potentials between all superpixels, adjacent or not, and then we try and uh, find edge labeling. So we try and decide for each edge if it should be switched on or off, and only select edge labelings actually amount to a valid segmentation. So it gives us a lot of constraints. We write this down as an interlinear program, and we solve this NPR problem um, exactly on smaller instances or approximately on the huge instances, the billions and trillions of voxels. In summary, machine learning is a very good match for computer vision. Uh, I like interactive machine learning because it gives us steeper learning curves, meaning we are able to obtain good predictions with fewer human input. Um, we have an implementation that allows doing that on data bigger than RAM, and we're making it available open source on, on this website that you see. And here's uh, my conjecture. Um, so for now, this were facts, and now this is speculation. I think we may have the first fly connectome in uh, less than five years. I think we may have the first mammalian connectome. It will be a really small mammal uh, in less than 15 years, and that will be a first in the history of mankind. I want to thank um, the people who made this possible, and I want to extend happy birthday wishes to Tuesday Institute. Thanks for the invitation and many happy returns. Thank you. Thank you.